Welcome back to this segment. I wanted to do um, something on my wardrobe and I get a lot of questions about how I put my outfits together and it's kind of been something recent for me. I was never that big into fashion as you can see. Recently, my husband and I have just kind of decided we want to spend less money. We want to build our wealth in other ways and that means spending less money in areas of clothing and food. So this year I'm gonna get creative and it starts by me working in my wardrobe. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to my closet. All right, folks, this is it. This is my closet. This is literally plus maybe five pieces that I have in the laundry right now, all the clothes that I own. And up here I keep my pants, my skirts, some shoes. I, I like to keep my tank tops and layering tees in this area and then shoes. And I really don't have that much going on. Like you can see it's not picture perfect. I do not live an Instagram perfect life. This is real life folks. So I don't have a lot going on, but I have lots of um, combinations that I can work with. Let me explain how that, I, how that works. Okay, so when you don't have a lot of clothes to work with, but you know that you don't wanna go spend more money either and go shopping, how do you do it? What do you work with? I like to spread out all of my clothes on my, my mattress. And as you can see, it's it's wash sheets day, so it's not looking super cute. But I like to put all the clothes on my mattress that I think I might wanna wear, and I start with pants first. And I build my outfit from my pants or my skirt or my bottoms. Kinda like you build your meal around your protein. And I like to go with my mood, per se. So I start with my bottoms. I might pick a cute colored top to go with it. I might go, oh, I wanna wear these shoes today because heels are more dressy and I have to go somewhere more dressy and then I'll pick a, a top according to that and then I add accessories as needed so that might mean a scarf, a purse, a, my watch. I'm really really minimalist when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't have a lot uh, of accessories that I like to wear but the ones that I do have I really 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 like. So I would say if you're trying to go for a capsule type wardrobe with minimalist rules my rule is stick to the one thing rule. Um, so when I was cutting down a lot of my clutter in my closet, I decided I wanted to only have the pieces that made me feel like a million bucks or that I really liked in my life, that added beauty to my life as the, I keep pieces that I really like having around and when I put them on, they make me, one thing rule means I keep one pair of boots, I keep one pair of wedges, I keep one pair of sneakers, I keep one pair of trouser jeans, I keep one pair of skinny jeans, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. But that really helps keep down on the clutter. When you're looking for pieces to build your capsule wardrobe, find pieces that are versatile. I, like I'm currently wearing this um, jersey knit skirt, and you can dress it up or dress it down. A lot of what I learned, honestly, was from what not to wear, <laughs> and a lot of the rules I use are from there. So, like, they like to talk about dressing the best parts of your body. So if there's an area of your body you're not super excited about, um, you can detract from that by using um, clothes on opposite parts of the body that draw away from that. Fortunately, I've really come to like my body this year. <laughs> I'm learning body positivity and weightlifting has really helped me feel strong and like the skin I'm in. So I'm not dealing with that quite as much as I used to, but I know that that's super real for people, especially women. Yeah, so find pieces that are versatile for your body type. Use a lot of le uh, leggings with dresses and layering um, t-shirts underneath or on top of to make it like a brand new look. I really like to buy used. I tend to buy a lot of my things at thrift stores or um, secondhand stores like Plato's Closet or Clothes Mentor. I really like the deals I find there and they're mostly still in fashion. Not that I know a whole lot about fashion, but I'm learning more of what I like and I'm realizing that's what fashion is. It's, it's feeling comfortable in the skin you're in, wearing clothes that you like and clothes that make you feel really awesome. A really good idea if you're kind of scared to get started or you're not sure, I say do a clothing swap. And what I mean is like have a couple of girlfriends over and everyone bring their bag of hand-me-down clothes that they don't want anymore and you just, have a free-for-all and granted this might only work if 
people are your similar size, but then you have something to draw from and you can try try new fashion risks without spending a lot of money. Because hand-me-downs are not just for kids anymore, you guys. I have loved when some of my friends have given me a bag of clothes and it feels like Christmas. I guess I don't get out much. Wear clothes that complement your skin tone. Um, that color circle that came around, I, I think it was in the 90s because I rem remember my mom talking a lot about it. But like if you're a winter, you wear darker colors. If you're a summer, you wear, um, you can get away with more of the yellows and pinks and, and more summer colors. If you're a fall, you can get away with brown and orange and um, mustard. So like those are types of things that you can also look for when you're looking for really good pieces for your wardrobe. I like to buy in neutral colors, um, add pops of color when I'm building my outfit. So, so I tend to wear a lot of like, yeah, black jeans, gray jeans, um, white tops, gray tops, and then I can add like a maroon scarf or um, I'm actually knitting a mustard scarf right now. I'm really excited about that because I can add that to my, to my closet. Uh, so this is my list of, list of musts. If you're going to build a minimalist capsule wardrobe, the first thing would be really, really good pants. So like I would say two to three good pairs of jeans or trousers, skinny or regular, however you prefer. Some people just like a straight leg trouser. I do like a skinny jean myself. Um, it's easy to put a skinny jean under a dress or so I find that skinny jeans are more versatile for me So whatever you feel more comfortable in now Go with that two to three good dresses and skirts and what I mean by good. That's such a horrible describing word but something that you can put a t-shirt under something that you can put a t-shirt over something that you could put leggings under Not over because that would look yucky. Don't do that something that you can pair with a scarf, a print that you really, really like, a color that you think you look beautiful in. These things are great markers to look for when you're going through the used clothing. If you don't want to buy used, you do you boo. Two to four, I say that, um, cute t-shirts. So they can be solid print, they can be kind of a neutral print or color. But I do find that even even prints can be neutral. It doesn't have to be a black shirt to be neutral. You can do a lot with a small fine print on a shirt. Black leggings. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know the legging trend is like in full craze, but I just like a good black legging that I can throw into a skirt, that I can wear with a tunic top, that I can wear to go do yoga. Like something that's very, very versatile that way. Tank tops for layering. I love tank tops and I love long sleeve shirts for layering. They both do the same kind of work depending on the season for me. And honestly, my wardrobe doesn't change all that much from season to season. Like I'll bring out my shorts when it's summertime or I'll put my shorts away when it's winter time. Otherwise, a lot of the pieces I have, I wear all year round. Good scarves, I love scarves, you guys. You can do so much with them. You can turn them into a shawl. You can make them look like it's a part of your top if you want to cinch it with a cute belt. Uh, don't just have to be for when it's cold either. If you want a really thin, cute spring scarf, you can wear that all year round as well. Next on my list would be tops with flair. Uh, anything with a little bit of extra something, something to help you express your wardrobe. So like on this, this top I love, I put t-shirts underneath it all the time and it's just a little bit of lace, but it feels like not just a plain black t-shirt, if that makes sense. I love cute but comfy shoes. Stick with comfort gals because I don't feel like you should have to be uncomfortable so that you can be yourself and just not even have to think, oh, my feet hurt. So I like a good wedge. I tend to wear a lot of Converse during the week because you can wear that with a cute dress or a top as well. But my biggest takeaway from all this is find clothes that layer, find clothes that are versatile for you, find clothes that you feel good in, and colors that complement your skin tone so that you're working with what you got. So my other idea would be um, find a girlfriend or, or a guy friend that can help you pull Outfits out of your closet that you've never seen before. Someone with fresh eyes that can go, that looks good with that, that looks good with that, that'd look great on you, but maybe you're too scared to, or or you just don't see it yourself. Find someone that can shed fresh perspective on your closet so that what you can you can already work with it. I would also say if you have an abundance of clothes, put half of it away. And in six months, bring the other half out, and then you it feels like you went shopping and you could work with a bunch of new pieces that you haven't had in six months. That would be another good tip. 
So on that note, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. Hit it. And like or comment so that I can know that you're watching and um, enjoying this content. Most importantly though, go get messy, have fun, and learn. I'll see you next time.